Hi everyone, this is Chris Gerald with Everyday VBA, and in this video we're going to be assigning a reference to an object in VBA. Well, what does that mean? Well, in the other videos we've looked at how to declare a variable and how to make that variable a string, for example, and to how to make that string equal to something by putting the variable on the left and putting equals and then putting, for example, in the string example, typing in what that string is. Well, in this video we're going to be looking at setting objects. Well, what's the major difference? It ends up being very confusing when you start coding because you're like, I have to, I have to use equals sometimes and then I have to set, set it other times. Well, what is the difference? Well, I've got a Visual Basic my Visual Basic Editor open. I've got a module open. If you're not here, you can hit Alt F11. It will open up your Visual Basic Editor. We're going to create a macro. We're going to call this sub OBJ is what we're going to call it. I can type. And what we would do if we did the string is be stem S as a string. And we would go S equals double quote. This is a string and that we would be good to go. So if I hit F5, F8, get at F5 and it'd run through the whole thing and then you wouldn't see anything but if you hit F8 it's going to go line by line and you'll notice that I basically set this S or a, make this variable equal to this is a string. Well let's look at the most popular objects. Now the most popular objects are worksheets so I'm going to dim WS as worksheet and then I'm going to dim WB as workbook and I'm going to dim RNG as a range. Those are going to be the most popular objects that you're going to need to set when you're setting objects. Well, what I want to do real quickly is just go over what an object is. Now if you remember we discussed what objects are kind of like a room in a house. A, your living room will have a couch and a TV and your kitchen will have a stove. Well that's basically why you need to assign a reference instead of just making it equal. It's not a single thing. It's not a single piece. You're basically assigning that whole reference and that whole reference module to whatever that whatever that whatever the variable name that you have set. So for example, dim ws as worksheet. Now I've got that declared with my dim statement, but I'm going to go, I want to set that, so I'm going to go set ws. Now one of the nice, nicest things about declaring objects is that you'll end up getting a telesense. I will actually, a lot of times, will declare those my worksheets or my ranges for the very purpose of when I hit WS dot, it's going to pull up all the IntelliSense for that worksheet object, which is awesome because in this case, I'm going to go WS name and I'm going to er, set, w, set WS equal to, now it needs to equal, in this case, WS is a worksheet. So what I set it to has to be a worksheet as well. And I can do that a couple ways. I'm going to go active sheet. That would be one way to do that. And when I run through this code, I'm going to hit F8, F8. S is a string. You'll notice that comes down here. I'm going to set WS equal to active sheet. And you'll notice it shows up in your locals window. Now, if you don't have your locals windows open, you can come over to view and then select it in there. I recommend that you use your immediate and your locals window because they tend to be incredibly valuable. Now the nice thing here is once I have that my WS worksheet set to the my active sheet I can do stuff like debug print which will print in my immediate window WS.name which makes it very nice. Again hit F8 Hit F8 again, it's going to tell me it's sheet one. Now I didn't have to use active sheet, I actually could have used my code name, which is sheet one. I could have actually also used sheets and then referenced index one, or I could have referenced the name as well. So let's look at workbook, we could do the same thing. So I'm going to go set WB equal to this workbook. So we're going to go debug dot print wb.name 
you set that, click F8, F8 again. It's going to tell me that that's book one. It's book one there. It's book one there. We are good to go. Now let's set our range. RNG equal to, it has to equal range. So you could use cells. You could also use range. In this case, I'm just going to go range. I'm going to go C7. Now your range could also be uh, larger than that. So you could actually go C7 to C10. Let's do that. And then we want to go rng.select. And we've set it. Selecting those cells. Let's go rng.clear to get rid of them. This will be fun. We run that. It clears everything. Perfect, we're clear. So one last thing. So when you have your variables set to unset them or to clear them, if you have a variable, you would just go, and we actually have a variable, you could go s equals empty. And it'll basically clear that, our string out. So s is the string, we have that set. That's how you clear out a variable. Now it's a little different. Just to make things confusing, you're going to go ws equals nothing. I don't know why they are different. Sometimes it's better just not to ask and just accept the fact that they're not. Otherwise, you end up getting frustrated, and that's no fun. So I'm going to clear out all of these, clear out the variables, and also clear out my assignments to my objects. You'll notice that those. Oh, that's funny. So, again, I'm declaring a variable, so you have to click set. Otherwise, I won't do anything. So, even when you're assigning them to nothing or clearing them out, it has to be a little finicky on us. All right. Well, I hope that's a, that gives you a good idea and understanding of how to assign a reference to an object. Hope this is helpful. Um, I, it took me probably a couple years just to figure out what the difference was. Um, probably took me even more years than that just to be able to clearly articulate it. Hope this is helpful. Hope you enjoy your coding. Have a great day.